What's up YouTube? My name is Yaakub from the Tech Musketeers and, and my name is Arshad and in this episode we'll be talking about a major flaw that we found out in Face ID. And my name is Shako. Let's cue the intro. As you know, uh, Face ID was introduced with the iPhone 10 back in 2017 and a quick brief on how Face ID works is uh, it will scan your face, the shape of your face with an infrared beam and projects 30,000 dots on your face which is naked to the human eye and then unlocks the phone for you. So Shaku, why don't you tell us about devices that you and Yaku have? So I've been using this iPhone 10s which runs a public beta, iOS 14 public beta and Yaku has been using the yeah, iPhone 10s. Yes. And uh, you know, this was the developer beta 2 and I've been using this for about one year and Shaku has been using it for, for the same time I So And uh, okay, so what we came across by using Face ID was that uh, my device unlocks to Shakur's face and his unlocks to my face which is two entirely different faces so by the looks of it I have a, I have a normal face and he has a circular face and as, as per what Apple declared it's supposed to unlock only by a chance of one in a million one in a million, one right, in a million. Yeah. so in the case of what we are going to show you today is uh, uh, how it unlocks to my face and we'll be resetting the phone to get a clear idea of how it works Right, so then why don't you guys uh, unlock the phone, your own faces, right? And then let's see if it Perfect. unlocks perfectly, right? Okay. And I'll be the judge of this, so you all don't cheat. All right, yeah, all right. Okay. Okay. I'm an Android user, so <laughs> I need to test Apple here, right? And so then I'll be the judge for that. So why don't you all first uh, unlock your phones for your each uh, faces, and let's see how it goes. Yeah. And just try to go to settings and say, I mean, I know that iOS has the option of where you can set an alternative face ID. Yeah. So what you all can do is you all can go to settings and show us if you all have uh, an alternative face, face set up, uh, setup already done, right? And then let's reset face ID and go through it. Fantastic, sure. So um, I will unlock my phone and this unlocks to my face. See, this is my phone and it's supposed to do that. And, uh, and this unlocks to my face as well. That is my phone. So what we do now is switch phones. Let's switch phones. We switch phones on this. So I'll take his phone. He's going to have my phone. Okay. And uh, so and what we're going to do is show you on the face that there's no alternative face setup in this option. Mm -hmm. so there's here an option set up alternative face. So what we're going to do is uh, this unlocks to thing. my face as you can see. The unlock to my face. I'll wait once again, so it unlocks to my face. So Shakur, why don't you show us if it unlocks uh, to your face? Let me show you if this is set up with an alternative face. Okay, right, so. Yeah, it, it's not, it's not. So let me so you lock it from there and let me unlock, unlock it. it too. So it unlocks to his face as well, it's not supposed to do that. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, reset. Like quote unquote. Quote, unquote. Apple says one in a million chance. Okay. Right, so one in a million chance. Okay. <laughs> so what we we'll do is uh, we'll be resetting face ID and going all the way from the beginning to where we set up the face uh, to the respective people. So Shaku is your phone. Yes. <coughs> so what we'll do is uh, a passcode and reset face ID. And I'll be setting up my face ID on this. Right, so have you set? I set up my face ID. Okay, so what about you? So you yeah. Alright, so it's set up on this and there's no already face on this. We reset face ID entirely. And it's the same on the other iPhone right. tennis as well. Right, so then why don't you unlock your phones and try unlocking again? Okay. Yeah. So it unlocks the Shakur's face on the first attempt. Yeah. And mine unlocks the mine on the first attempt as well. Right. So then why don't you allow switch the phone switch again. entirely because now Face ID cannot unlock, unlock to your faces. Yeah, in different faces oh, because oh. now it's one thing is there is no alternative face yeah. and it was uh, reset 
right? And you'll register your face again. So, guys, uh, this this cannot be locked right now. Okay, okay, let me try. So the first attempt it doesn't unlock doesn't on work. my phone that way. Okay. Well, let me let me try on yours. So it doesn't work on this as well. So what I do is I'll type the password. Yeah, I'll unlock the device. And the moment I unlock it again, after multiple attempts of uh, typing the passcode, just right here. It's here. It unlocks to my face. It which is not. Oh my God! Happened. This this <laughs> is mind blowing, right? So because now I was just looking at the screen. He unlocked the phone in the first attempt. Then. Uh, then we we had face ID uh, reset, and then we check for alternative face ID no, right? And then with multiple pin codes, passcode yeah, attempts, yeah. passcode attempts, it lets you in to the phone. Let's okay, just so save with uh, my device on yeah. Shampoo's face as well. So he tries it on the first attempt. He okay, so he puts the passcode, locks it again. And okay, so then that was two attempts the same passcode. Lock it again. Use the uh, code once again. So, so and there you are. Attempts, <laughs> and there you go. It's, a, it's not supposed to work on. We have entirely different that option. What do you think? Entirely <laughs> okay, different. As you guys see, it's it's so clear that they have two different faces. Right, this is not a 3D printed face, nor a twin, right? And still, face ID unlocks to our faces. To your faces, which is really crazy. I'm also confused because it's not supposed to be that. But at first, it was that, like we said yeah, previously, it's supposed to unlock for a face which is one in a million. And to, on YouTube, we see a couple of videos where twins unlock their phones, which is quite reasonable to. Yeah. And, uh, the son unlocks the phone, the, of, phone of, of a mother. mother. So we can say that that could be some kind of a coincidence, but I don't know what this is because yeah, yeah, after multiple exactly. The thing is, I would have uh, actually thought that Shakur, as in, I think it was the Shakur's phone yeah. which unlocked your phone. Yes, first, first right. right. Yeah. So that's where we actually discovered the issue, mm -hmm. and then we uh, dig deep into it, and then we tried with Yakub's phone, and it unlocked as well. So. We could also call it a product fail if it was only on, on one device. device. Yes. But then again, it's not. So it's on multiple devices. It's on these two devices, and it was a bit skeptical because uh, when I unlocked it from his phone, that's the first time I noticed it unlocked to my face, and then I went try it again. It worked. And uh, yeah. okay, so the, so why don't we unlock your different phones with uh, each other again? Okay. So you unlock Shakul. Shall we do this? This. this? Do the reset all over again? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. So I'll do the reset on Sharpers mode. Oh, tell me what. Get this mode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get on this. So Yakub, you uh, reset Face ID again. Yeah, first on your arms, and then this. So I'm setting up Face ID from the beginning. That's the first scan. Okay, so the second one. All right, so two scans are done, and face ID is set up on my iPhone tennis. Shakur, go ahead. So let me reset it as well. So, as you reset face ID, because you don't even have your alternative face, or your original face your that you face, scan. Yeah. So, and Shakur is doing his scan, and what I noticed is, it. Uh, it lets you into the phone after, after several attempts. Password attempts. Password so attempt. it's not the first attempt. It unlocks, um, say, say no. when this is the face at the beginning, and once you keep the passcode, at this amount, so twice it took about four attempts on the devices, but then again, it's not allowed to, it's not supposed to let you go into that as well. So Right, so then why don't we all switch the phones again? again. Right, so let's, let's try unlocking right. it with our face yeah. once again. Yeah. So it unlocks from my face, right. my as face. it's yeah. supposed to work. And this and this is the second time. This second is the second time. Yeah, I'll do it in the first. Yeah. I'll do it first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I tap on this. I tap on the passcode. Stop the remotes. And it just took one attempt and I'm on the phone. 
Okay. Just okay. another okay. two okay. other device. So, yeah, so let me try it as well. No. So just call it in. And this is the second attempt. Second attempt. Third attempt. The third attempt. Let's do it one more time. Okay, okay. okay. So now he, now he takes a couple of more time. So and you're ready. <laughs> five attempts and you're back into my phone. So it works. What do you think, Arthur? So I believe this this, so this now. I mean, as you guys saw, yeah. as you guys saw, <laughs> right? This is not a product fail. I, 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 I hardly doubt that it's a product fail. And the second thing is, it can, it's, it's not fake. It's not fake because I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing it right now, right? With my pure eyes. And then the next thing is what worries me a lot, right? Say, if somebody who wants to get into your phone. Yeah. Right, and it unlocks to their face. It yeah. unlocks to their face without any of this, you know, restriction. So it could, what you say is like if someone, Shakur and Mahesh, very entirely different. So there are chances that someone else could they get their hands on our devices, and they could. What if their face is also that one in a million, which lets them into our devices? So in that case, there are multiple risks which oh, can yes. be. Black. Like you said, the risk. Well, let's talk about Apple Pay. Apple Pay. That's, 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 now, that's in countries where you have uh, Apple Pay, it's going to. I mean, this is going to get get into a financial crime because people are going to unlock your phone. They have information like your photos, your contacts, all information, right? And also your credit card information because it allows you to do face ID to. Uh, your credit card information and you can make payments via Apple Pay. So and there's a breach of privacy. The, the main fact that it lets another person into your phone is what I thought is considered as a breach of privacy. That's, that's the first thing they need to consider. What I don't get in this point, Arshad, is that I don't know how this works. I don't know what the algorithm is in this where once you enter your passcode multiple times, it lets you into the phone. So even if I so I can go like this and it unlocks to Shafir's face. So that, so that's me. Now so that's me. Now, so it unlocks my face. Now that's entirely crazy. Right? So then, what you guys can do if you have a phone with Face ID, why don't you just try it on with your friends and see if it works? Or family. Or family. Yeah. Family. So then, what we can do is, I mean, so the more people figuring this issue out, Apple will start the most Apple will get to address the issue. Exactly. So my question is, will this be the same thing with the iPhone 12 series? Or will it be the same issue? So we are going to do that test as well. So stay tuned for that video. And, and the, all of these phones are on the, you know, these are all flagship devices. So you you pay premium price for a premium device, and this happens, people are going to lose it. Lose a lot. Lose a lot. And these phones are still covered in Apple Care warranty, so. My main shopper devices are still on Apple Care. And my concern is will it still be like I said with iPhone 12? And do people um, rather have face ID over fingerprint scanners? Do you feel that's more secure? Uh, so, what's your final thoughts? Well, let's leave it out to them. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Right. See you in the next one. Till next time. Until next time. Peace.